Hey everyone, I wanted to take a moment to share with you your writing project prompt for the Wild Wired West. And I want to remind you that every time you look for the writing project prompt, it is found in your roadmap. So let's scroll down and take a look at the key text that you're going to be reading to prepare you for this writing project. You're going to be reading Turkle's Growing Up Tethered. You are going to be looking at Seif, The Loneliness of the Interconnected. You're going to read Boyd's Inequality, Can Social Media Resolve Social Divisions? And you're going to be reading George, uh, Andrew's George Orwell, Meet Mark Zuckerberg. I would like to remind you that these texts are located in Rereading America, your textbook. The key questions that I would like you to keep in mind as you are working through the activities and assignments for this particular unit, which are directly designed to help prepare you for the writing project are these. How does technology hinder us? And how might we overcome one of the biggest challenges that we've thought about? So our writing prompt is this. This is a problem solution paper. I'm asking you to clearly identify a major problem with our connection to our devices. And it can be based on aspects of social media, the internet, or just simply our use of technology. I would like you to clearly identify a problem and propose a solution. For the purposes of this paper, please follow these parameters. The length is 1,250 words. If you go and use Google or uh, Word, there are word counters on there. Each page is approximately 250 to 300 words when it's double spaced, one inch margins, and utilizing MLA formatting guidelines. But if you don't know where the word counters are located, go ahead and look on YouTube. I use it all the time to figure out how different tools have different aspects to them and how I can utilize them. It is worth 15% of your grade. Let's now talk about the required sources that you need to use. I would like you to use one or more texts from the chapter entitled The Wired Wild, The Wild Wired West, quite a tongue twister there. Uh, I'd like you to use one or more texts from that chapter. So what that means is if you want to choose a different text than I have assigned you, you are more than welcome to do so. I would like you to choose at least two more additional sources from the library or the internet to support your argument. I would like to take a moment to discuss internet sources. You may choose to use an example from the internet as an example of a problem, and you can choose anyone you would like. However, if you're going to use something from the internet to propose a solution, I would like you to use a .edu or something from a school or a .net. I would like to let you know that for this particular uh, unit and writing project, just like all the others, I'm asking you to incorporate a visual that helps showcase your explanation. And if you haven't recently taken a look at incorpor our incorporating visuals handout, it's really helpful because it gives ideas of different types of visuals and how to include them into your paper in terms of discussing them and putting them in your work cited. And for this particular unit, unlike some of the others, I would like you to please stick to the third person. So please do not use personal pronouns such as I or me. And also, as always, you are going to work on your self-assessment revision reflection journal, which is helping you to metacognitively think about your writing and your writing choices, which will help you become a better scholarly writer. And so make sure that you're working on this as you are composing. There are several different uh, journal entries that you're going to have to make throughout the process. Okay, now I would like to take a moment to discuss, as always, with any sort of scholarly writing project, there is a problem to discuss. There's 
the audience to think about and there's a purpose. And so the problem that we're looking at in this particular nonfiction writing pro prompt in this type of argumentative essay is that is this technology has changed our lives for the better but it's also changed our lives for the worse and just like anything else there are positives and negatives but in this situation it's often harder to really see and understand these things because we're so close to them meaning that it is crucial to purposely read and investigate the problems associated with our tech devices. And I wanna remind you that with the advent of Web 2.0, which occurred in 2006, how media was created, shared, distributed, stored, and manipulated digitally changed dramatically. And if you haven't taken a look at the detailed definition of Web 2.0, you may do so here. Our audience, while I will be reading your paper, I'm going to read it with the lens of being someone from the millennial or Gen Z generation. I am from Generation X, but I'm gonna change my lenses and take a look at it from this perspective. And these people from these generations, which may be you, have grown up with or have been young adults during the birth of Web 2.0. And one of the first steps is to really consider those needs and attitudes and understanding of your audience. The purpose of our paper is, the truth is, the audience has not grown up knowing what life was like without the internet and really forgetting what life was like before Web 2.0. And while we won't be going backwards we, and we can't undo that tech revolution, we can try to think about and consider the long-term consequences and what guidelines we should keep in mind as we invite all this technology into our lives. What kind of boundaries do we wanna set up so that we can enjoy the positives of technology and not have to suffer with so many of the consequences? And again, I wanna remind you that I'm looking forward to you identifying a clear problem and finding some viable solutions. And by a solution, I wanna let you know that sometimes partial solutions are okay. So you might find a solution, but you may acknowledge that there are other solutions to take a look at. And that's normal. We often find partial solutions and we have to think about and try, practice and fail and then come up with better solutions down the line. Thank you so much, and I am looking forward to reading your papers from this particular unit.